Hello everyone and welcome back to another video and today we got a little bit different of a video one that normally hasn't been done on this channel but I think it'll be a pretty good one for those of you who love Funko Pops so if you have followed my channel at all over the past since the channel started you would know that I've been a collector of Funko Pops I mean if you look right behind me I got plenty hanging out back there namely Star Wars and Harry Potter have been the two big collections that I've done but I've definitely picked up some random ones along the way. I picked up a whole lot of different Funko Pops. And I wanted to make this video because I have so many of them. I mean, not a ton, but somewhere in the hundreds, two hundreds range. And I'm really not so interested in keeping some of the ones that I really don't care about due to space and all that kind of stuff. So, because of that, I've decided that I'm going to try selling them. And I wanted to get the message out there for any of those people who want to purchase Funko Pops who are interested in finding all kinds of random collections. Because again, like I go out and do Funko Pop hunts. We go out and go to different malls, different stores, collectors go online, pick up mystery boxes and stuff like that, trying to find ones that I might like. But also I'm going to get a lot of ones that I don't really care about and I'm looking to pass them on to people who actually care about them. So this video is just going to be a little introduction to where you can find them from me and I could showcase some of them that I already have posted for sale so down in the description below you'll be able to find the Instagram page for the account that I'll be using for posting about Funko Pops it's called Lemon King Pops and I'll be posting on there frequently about maybe some pictures about my collection just in general but also going to be posting whenever I'm going to be putting more up for sale little teasers here and there and notifying everyone when stuff goes up for sale so you can be the first one to go and get it so that'll be down below and also the two main platforms that I'll be using to do these sales will be eBay and whatnot eBay is more I've used eBay plenty in the past for selling other items so I already have a good standing on that platform so there'll be some there but also I wanted to dive into whatnot and I'll explain what whatnot is in a minute if you aren't familiar with it but I wanted to dive into whatnot because it's a more secure, safer selling platform for collectibles like Funko Pops to the buyer. So it'll be a more safe route for those who are purchasing. And I think that's a good thing. So yeah, so down below you'll also find the link to my eBay and the link to my whatnot page so you can go and find them now. Again, like I said, I was going to mention what whatnot is. So if you're not familiar with whatnot, it's an app that you download on your phone or I don't know, tablets or whatnot. And you can essentially pick up, it's essentially an app that goes through and has listings. You can go buy, sell, trade, whatever you want. There's live auctions, there's just plain sales. And it's mainly for collectors by collectors. So, and one of the nice things, like one of the best things that they offer is if you're not too sure about the authenticity of the pop, say you have a pop figure that you're like, well, it looks real, but I want it just a little bit more looked over to make sure it is and make sure the condition matches because on whatnot you have to list the condition there's like five different ratings for what condition it's in you can actually have it shipped from the seller to whatnot themselves and they will go through an inspection to make sure yes it's authentic yes the condition matches and if all that is good then they'll send it to you and it's good to go so that's a really nice thing that's added on to that but so that's why I'm going to be trying to use the WhatNot app, trying to collect most of my sales on there, but I still will be using eBay for some just here and there if I need to. And again, this will be a trial type thing. If WhatNot doesn't really work out, I'll go back to selling only on eBay, but hopefully it does, so it'll be a little bit nicer. And then obviously the live, act or the, the live auction platform is also nice for whenever that comes around kind of hard to get in right now because there's a lot of people trying to do it so you have to have a pretty good seller rating and again I just started so I don't really have any seller rating but again that's just a little update so down below you can find the links to my Instagram where you can follow and be updated on when stuff is going to go on sale and you can follow on my whatnot and follow my eBay page to be notified when things do come up for sale if you are interested so for the remainder of this video I just want to showcase the items that are currently up on both platforms 
I only have two things up on eBay, the rest are up and whatnot. So if you are interested, you can go and check them out. Just showcasing them here live to see what kind of items are going to be up for sale. So starting with eBay, I only have two, and I have multiples of each. The first one being Mr. Alexander Nitrikoff. I have three of him up for sale. I mean, it's a pretty standard one. He's found all over the place. He's pretty cheap. All of these boxes are going to be mint condition. They came out of Hot Topic, so they're all going to be perfect condition. I think I have him going five bucks right now just to see. But again, if you're interested in Alexander, he's up on eBay. And the other one that's up on eBay is from Clue. This is Peacock with the knife, the Hot Topic exclusive version of Mrs. Peacock. So again, all these are going to be mint condition or near mint, minus some like factory handling claws from Hot Topic or whatever. But I have six of her up for sale if you are interested. So those are the only two I have on eBay because I have multiples of them. The rest of them, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull them out of the box. I have a whole boatload here. We're going to go through them as fast as possible. And I can scan them on WhatNot just to see, you know, what their trending value is. And again, if you're interested in what you can do with the WhatNot app also, is just scan the barcode at the bottom of it. It will tell you what their price, their selling price is right now. It'll tell you all the listings that are on WhatNot for that pop. You can check them out. You can see what their trending value is on pop, how much they're selling for. You can see how many users have them, how many are for sale, and how many want them. You can kind of gauge on their interest on them and stuff like that. So. We'll just start. I have six that I posted recently as like within a couple days from when this video goes up in the past. These these pop figures are the most recent ones. And as of right now, when this video is being recorded, all of them are still available, as far as I know. So a couple of them. We have JJ Abrams. Again, this one is in all these are gonna be in good to mint condition. There's only maybe one in these boxes that I rate as good. Good being there's several flaws, near mint being that there's two or less flaws but they're still flaws and mint being perfect condition so we have jj abrams here he's up for sale and at the bottom you can see the barcode on it this is a pop from 2018 you can go on the whatnot app press the scan button you can scan the barcode and it will show you listings on what is going on so you can see the price the ppg for it is nine dollars you can see there's five listed 11 have it and eight want it so then you can scroll down and you can see what they're all selling for and you can go look at them. There's also a bunch of pictures. The app makes you take pictures from all six sides of the box and optional damage if there is any so you can see what kind of damage is on. But yep, yeah, this is one of them that is up for sale. Another one I have that recently posted was Alita, the Berserker Body, the FYE exclusive. She is also on the app for sale. And she is also a 2018 pop. So if I were to go back and I can just scan her in to tell you what she's going for. Again, all my pops that I have on there are going to be reasonably priced either at or below the PPG, except for some that are maybe vaulted or could be vaulted soon that might go up in price. I kind of accounted for that based on my personal judgment. So again, if you're not if you don't agree with that, you can always just not buy it. Or there isn't there is options to do offers you can offer up to 20 percent less for the pop and then the seller can think about it but alita there's seven listed ten have it three won it sure her price is about eight dollars the only thing that doesn't really that isn't really nice about the whatnot app is it doesn't tell you like whether they're vaulted or whether they're exclusives or whatnot so you would have to use the funko app to do that but then you can check to say oh this pop is vaulted this pop is an exclusive like if you have a special overseas sticker you can see who it was exclusive to in the u.s that type of thing so another one that i got is gi joe zartan he's also up for sale and he is also he's one of the newer pops from 2020 but he's not super expensive so he's probably up for like seven bucks or something and another one that's also pretty cheap is starlight from the boys He's also up for sale, and she is from 2020 as well. There's some damage on this one right here. You can see like little uh, crackage in the box right there. So again, make sure you take in mind the pictures before you purchase these pops because they're going to range in all different types of conditions, and you don't want to overpay for something that's super damn that kind of thing. So other ones that I have from this, the two like bigger end hits. That I have put up for sale with this lot. I posted six at one time. One of them is the 
Banya, if I'm saying her name right. It's a glow-in-the-dark special edition sticker. I think it's from Target. This is the special edition overseas sticker. So I have her up for sale as well. This is a newer pop from 2021, like March 18, 2021. So she is relatively newer. They're still making her. But it is a cool one, cool glow-in-the-dark. And anything that's, like, reasonably valuable, like, upwards, you know, when you start talking, like, 20 30 plus dollars, they will come in a pop protector, some of them, depending on how many pop protectors I have playing around like this one came in a pop protector, so I just left her in the pop protector. So most of them are going to be seven bucks a pop, pop shield, pop protectors, which is my preferred choice for Funko pop protectors. You actually get a hundred of them for $67 shipped on their website, so they're actually pretty cool. So those are the ones I recommend. Those are the ones that I use, but yep. We got Vani here, and the other one that went up with this set is from Rick and Morty. We got the box launch exclusive, Tiny Rick. So if you're interested in any of these, you can go check out my Whatnot page. They're all listed up there. First come, first serve. Whoever gets there first gets it. So I also have another big set of boxes. Check these ones out as well. I'm trying to do some organization to fit all these in at work because there's so many of them. We're just going to rattle through the list. I'm not going to go through and scan them all. But we got Hello Kitty Robot, the 2020 Summer Convention Limited Edition Exclusive. This is the shared sticker. I don't remember who was shared through, but we have Hello Kitty Robot if you're interested. And then we also have a Dragon Ball Z Super Saiyan Goku with Energy, a PX Previews Exclusive. And then we have actually a pretty cool one. We got the DC Robin Limited Edition Chase. So you can come and pick him up as well. He's on the website. If you're looking for a cool chase to pick up, the hooded Robin figure is normally, maybe you can see by the pop, he's normally not hooded. So, did, so we got him. He comes in a pop protector as well. This one is not seven bucks a pop. It's a pop protector, so hopefully it's still good quality. After that, we got Elastigirl, the FYA exclusive. This one is found everywhere, so this one isn't really worth too much, but she's up for sale. Pretty cheap price if you're looking for her. And we got a convention. This is a 2018 fall convention, Funko Fall Convention exclusive limited edition, the Sora in Guardian form from Kingdom Hearts. That, that for sale. And then going over, we got the DreamWorks Trolls World Tour Branch. The common pop. Got him. And from the new, I think this is, yeah, well. This isn't the newer one, but this is from the original Adams Family run. This is Cousin It from 2019. So you can see, like, they have all the Adams Family characters in here. This is from the 2019 run, so it's not... I think there's a new run that just came out. So this is one of the older ones. We also have, from Disney's Aladdin, we got Jafar, the Royal Vizier. Got him all ready to go. And also from Marvel Studios, WandaVision, we got Vision in the 50s. This box, I think there was a box mint, or was there some damage? I don't remember. But we got Vision 50s. Again, all the conditions and all the pictures are going to be posted on the WhatNot page, so just go and check them out. We have from the new Falcon and Winter Soldier, the new Captain America. He's a pretty desired pop right now, so you can go and pick him up if you're interested. Going back to Disney, The Little Mermaid, we got Scuttle. That's how you pronounce his name. I don't know. Got him. And digging out the bottom, we got the normal Vanya. Vanya, wherever her name is. She's just the normal one, not the uh, glow in the dark one. Two more, we got the Game Reverse Miles Morales Winter Suit from Spider Man Miles Morales. And finally, last one we have is from My Hero Academia. We got Best Genus. Just a common pop from that. So, those are all the pops I have currently listed on my Whatnot stores. And again, the Clue and Alexander ones from my eBay store. So, if you're interested, all of them are down in the description below. And again, I will be posting new ones on Whatnot. Probably more likely on Whatnot than eBay as of right now, pretty commonly. So if you could follow my whatnot page and you'll be notified at any point whenever I post new listings or update the prices on the listings if I were to lower the prices. And again, you can follow my Instagram. That's going to be a good source for when I do little sneak previews of what I'm going to be posting onto whatnot and just 
fun little Funko Pop things. And again, there's a ton of Funko Pop collector Instagram accounts that you can go and follow. Just if you're really interested in Funko Pops, there's so many. So go ahead and check them out and also check out mine. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Hope you all enjoy these Funko Pops. Hopefully some of you come pick them up. So again, thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll see all you guys next time.